guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and welcome to another episode of High Heel Hallelujah. Today I'm talking about different strokes for different folks, and this is going to talk about weaving our lives together for one true purpose. But first, let's look at the shoes. This is a pair of Steve Madden heels that my husband got me and they're an espadrille. They have a little cork in the heel there. And of course, you're gonna see the weaving going on, right? And they're super comfortable. You can walk in these for a while. And I am also going to tie in to this little talk my anklet, which had gone missing for a little while and I found it and there's a story behind it. So we're gonna talk about this little anklet that I'm wearing. I used to wear it all the time and I misplaced it and I knew that I had it, but I found it. So we're gonna talk about that too, but of course, this is gonna tie into our theme. Okay, this is another topic that my friend Teddy brought to my attention. If you've read any comments on my previous videos, he always has great insight into faith and really amazing way of tying Bible verses into things. And so I have used what he recommended as a topic for today and he had some great ideas of how this works together. So one of the things that we, in our lives, we're always going to have people that are similar to us and people that are different. We're always going to have those things where sometimes we don't necessarily understand somebody else's point of view or we don't have the same agreement with them. And I think we're finding that to be very true in the world of politics I guess this has been going on a long time, but it just seems to be getting more and more rampant as you look at society, politics and the media and everything, and people have such differing opinions and seem to just fight and battle against each other, but we don't really see any resolution. It doesn't seem to be getting better. We don't seem to see improvement. And I think a big part of that is we don't have one united purpose. Our purpose being to glorify God, to help and love other people the way that we love ourselves. And if we really got to the point where we had at least that common purpose is to look outside of ourselves at other people, to really have a heart for people, maybe look at their pain and see that it came from something going on in their past or a current struggle they're going through. When we look at it from a different perspective, even if we don't understand their viewpoint or we don't have the same viewpoint, we can still weave our lives together for a common good of glorifying God and helping each other. And if we really could get back to that, I really feel like that would make such a difference in how this world would be, how we would run through this world. And so as my friend said, weaving together different lives, different people. We call it different strokes for different folks. We have different things that we um, really have as our drive, our passions, things like that. But they can all weave together for a common purpose. And I thought this was a cool way of looking at it too. He talked about the cork being kind of like the cork on champagne, pop that cork and celebrate. And I think that that is a super cool way of looking at how we can enjoy our lives, even though we may not have the same exact path as somebody else. We should be celebrating life with them and understanding people through the heart that God actually has for them. This is not in coming out of our own selves because our selfish desires always want to promote ourselves over everything. That's just the way we were born and made. But when we get to the point where we look at people the way that God looks at people with love and compassion and a desire for the best for them, then it really changes how inward we are focusing and it takes our focus out and it's so much more rewarding. We do not need to go into this self-preservation protective mode 
all the time fighting for ourselves, we need to be looking more at other people. And in this world now, people really want to just defend themselves. And instead, if they really looked at other people the way that God looks at them, it would change so much. And we would that would start to really infiltrate and change mindsets. The reason that I brought up the anklet is because I have a little story related to how this all ties in with purpose and focus and everything else. So when I was, I was out of college and I had gotten my degree, but I really needed to go get a master's in order to make a career in the field that I had chosen. I came out thinking I was going into social work, but you really needed a master's. Otherwise you were pretty much just going to make minimum wage. And I realized that there was no master's program that appealed to me. So I thought, okay, now what? And so I had several different jobs during that time after college. And one of them was I taught a lot of dance classes at my mom's dance studio. And I had a family, a mother with two girls. And I want to say they were probably around seven to nine years old. And remember that I am fresh out of college. I have no money and I am working. Thankfully, I could live at home at the time, but really my paychecks were all very minimal, but they all added up to enough. And I'm also a saver. So over the years of babysitting, I had put away a lot of money from all of that, was not really spending my money on things. And I had these two little girls in my class. And one day the mom told me that she couldn't afford to pay for their lessons anymore and they were going to have to drop out. And I remember the feeling of the Holy Spirit telling me, and at the time I was not the kind of, I've always been a Christian, but something changed maybe five plus years ago for me where I really got ignited, um, just really understanding things differently from a heart perspective. But back then I did have the Holy Spirit and he directed me and I, I told the mom, I'm gonna pay for their lessons. And she said, oh no, you can't do that. And I said, no, I really want to. I don't wanna lose them as a student. I wanna pay for their lessons. And I went to my mom who at the time owning the studio didn't have to, she could have just said, no, it's okay, don't worry about it. But she gave me the blessing of paying for their lessons. And the reason that I call that a blessing is because if she had said, no, no, it's okay, you don't need to do that, there would be nothing of me to give. And so she honored that. So pretty much my pay for that class went just straight to taking care of those girls' lessons. And it was such a beautiful way to give back. And I didn't have to know their situation. I didn't have to know whether or not they truly could afford it. It didn't matter. This was about me changing my heart about things and not trying to worry about whether some somebody deserves it or doesn't or any of that kind of thing. I just knew in my heart that this is something I wanted to do. Well, that mom made me this anklet and she said, this is um, just a small gift to you for blessing my children with being able to continue dancing. And I still have that this anklet to this day. And every time I look at it, it reminds me of the joy of giving and the joy of having the capacity to give, even when it's a stretch for you. How much better it is to look at other people through eyes of love and compassion and to give. And this is not to pat me on the back at all. I have been more than enough selfish through my life. But what I'm saying for all of us is that the more that we can look at people through the heart of God and compassion and love, and we can celebrate life with people of different walks of life, different ways of thinking, and we can really be inspired to live a life that will affect other people. And it starts with us, it starts with just you. 
and we can't change the world in a moment but we can change ourselves, and that changes our world and the world right around us and that is huge because the more of us that do that the more that it's going to spread like wildfire yes on fire I gotta tie it in whenever i can okay so i hope that that gives you something to think about i'm sure that you have been generous and giving i have some wonderful friends that follow me on various um social media platforms i know the hearts you have we don't always think the same way we don't always kind of have the same mentality about faith and things like that but you're there weaving your life in with mine and it actually brings me to tears i'm going to start getting choked up because you know who you are you've been my friend for a long time and you have been there even though you don't agree with me you show love to me and compassion and understanding and you let me be me and that means so much and when we do that for other people it will change so much in life and thank the lord that he has this beautiful way of weaving us together with other people so i hope that you are finding your direction and purpose and that you're finding ways to give and love people the way that god loves people because that is going to change the world all right until the next episode of high heel hallelujah I hope that you are living your life on fire. And here's the prayer that again, I forgot. Father God, thank you so much for this time together. Thank you that you have woven our lives together with people of all walks of life, of all different areas of the world. Thank you for the opportunity to come together and to be able to see things differently, for giving us eyes to see and ears to hear compassionate hearts and love for one another. Thank you that even in this world where sometimes it seems so selfish and there are so many people that are living very selfish or greedy or evil lives, thank you that you still have such a heart and compassion for us that you continue to draw us in. You love us beyond our comprehension. Please help us just to stay focused on how we can love other people continue to weave our lives together with those people who we are intended to, who you mean for us to learn and grow with. And so I thank you and I pray that we would just celebrate this life together until we all come together in heaven in that time when you have set aside for us. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, thanks and I'll see you soon. Okay, what's your opinion? Do you like the background noise being muted? Or do you like the clippity-clop of the shoes? <laughs> I actually do like the clippity-clop of shoes. People always tell me at work that they know when I'm coming, and I think it's partly because I'm the only one that wears heels, but that's a good trademark, I would have to say. What do you think? All right, thanks so much for being with me, and I hope that you watch another episode or you join me again soon for High Heel Hallelujah.